Hey everybody, welcome to Faith with Katie. I'm Katie Souza and we're live. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> we're live from KT Studios in Arizona, the good old USA. And this feed is going out all over the world from our little state. Amen. We are on Faith Television Network. We are covering all of Africa right now right now as we speak. And we're also going into all of Europe, all of Ireland and the USA. Please, you need to join us. If you're watching on your television, also get on your social media platform. Go to my YouTube, a Katie Souza Ministries YouTube channel, or go to Facebook, Katie Souza Ministries. And you need to be on those pages so that you can chat in because today is a live healing service, amen? A live healing service where my special guest and I are gonna be working on bone problems, arthritis problems, pain problems, spinal issues, things that are happening in your neck and your knees and your, your shoulders and your elbows and any joint in your body. We're going to be talking about stuff like that and we're going to be administrating miracles so that you can get healed of pain and disorders in your physical body. We're even going to go after metal today. That's right. I said metal. Yes, so make sure that you are on the Facebook page. You can go to Katie Souza right now and join us right now for the live stream and begin to chat in uh, where you're watching from so I can see. Put that into the chat. Go to also My Faith TV on Facebook and make sure you can chat in on that page. Tell us where you're, call where you're watching from, who you are, how you're doing and everything else, amen? So I'm gonna go to the stream right now. We're coming up right now on the Facebook and on YouTube. So you can go to either one of those sources so you can chat in. You need to be on those pages too because you're gonna chat in what your issue is. Are you having something with your neck? Did you get into an accident and your back's never been the same? Maybe your knees are going out and you're scheduled for knee surgery. We need to know those things because my special guest and I today are going to minister healing and miracles live so that you can get a breakthrough and cancel, cancel that surgery. Amen. So I once again, go to myfaithtv.com on your Facebook, go to Katie Souza Ministries on Facebook, or go to my YouTube channel, Katie Souza Ministries on YouTube, because we're airing live right now. Amen. Okay. So now uh, I want to start with a selfie video testimony. This woman named Janet from, from Africa, she actually sent me an email and she said, Katie, you know, I fasted for 21 days so that when I went to an event that you were coming to in Africa, that I could somehow miraculously run into you and get five minutes of time with you to receive a prayer. And the reason was that she had a metal uh, mesh in her bladder and the mesh had fallen that was holding up her bladder and became embedded in her bladder. And she was gonna have to have a very dangerous surgery scheduled to happen. So I want you to check out this, this wild video. This is so awesome. This is her testimony that she just sent to me. Let's check out Janet's miracle right now. Hi, I'm Janet Always from Johannesburg, South Africa. I met Katie in 2019. I needed a supernatural creative miracle. And when I heard that she was coming, I made my way down to East London and I prayed to God that he would give me five minutes just with Katie, just to pray over my um, situation. In 2010, I had a, a sling inserted on my bladder and it dropped and it grew into the lining of my, my bladder. It was a very dangerous situation and also um, the the operation to remove it was very dangerous so I opted for um, the miraculous and Katie prayed over me and it was removed supernaturally my, my sling has gone it has been removed there's no sign of it there's no trace of it and I feel better than I've ever felt before in my life and while the second of the second miracle that happened was my daughter had slipped two discs and she was in Johannesburg and the second time Katie prayed I had another session with Katie and she prayed for my daughter at the same time that Katie prayed for my daughter my daughter felt her back click in position and she's been healed supernaturally her discs are perfect she is perfect thank you Katie you are an um, absolute miracle working miracle worker for God you're the hands and feet of Jesus I thank you from the bottom of my heart 
incredibly awesome, right? So awesome. Janet, like she told me also in the email, like that surgery that she was going to have to have is so dangerous because the metal mesh had become embedded in her bladder. Can you imagine having to cut that away? She might have ended up having no bladder at all and have a, a bag on the outside of her body. But God, God can do anything. It's so awesome, right? It's amazing that he actually removed a metal mesh from her body. And I'm telling you what, today's going to be an exciting day because my guest today has seen metal miracles like crazy. In fact, he is the man that really mentored me into being able to see metal miracles happen wherever I go. And we're going to welcome him right now, my friend, Pastor Tony Camp. Oh, hey, all right. You're here live with us. It's Amen. so good, Amen. right? Yeah. So much fun. Like We're going to the nations right now. Yes. I just want to tell you who's, uh, who's chatting in as I okay. introduce you to people. Okay. We've got people from South Carolina. We've got people from um, Madeira, California. Well, that's uh, Margaret. Uh, no, that's... Um, Desiree from Madeira, California. Debbie's from Alabama. We've got Willis Smith is from North Carolina in the USA. We've got Margaret from Northern Ireland. Hey, all right. So everybody, check it out. My friend is here. Uh, Tony, you and I, mm -hmm. I love that God brought us together. Yes. I've been so blessed by your ministry. And I by yours. You know, we've done dozens of meetings together. And you've actually mentored me in many ways on how to operate in the supernatural. And you've helped me with the healing of the soul and the miraculous. Well, thank you, but I'm telling you what, I think I got the better end of the deal <laughs> because we're seeing crazy awesome miracles like yes. we just saw with Janet yes. and that metal mesh disappearing from her body. Yes. Uh, you've seen so many incredible miracles. Yes. We were watching footage of you mm -hmm. and you know, you're like, how many people here in the meeting got a miracle last time I was here? And people lined up. Mm -hmm. And there was just the most incredible miracles. A woman got her wrist crushed. Mm -hmm. Another a girl grew out four inches. Just tell yes. us some of those miracles really quick. Well, here's here's what I'll do. It, just in terms of metal miracles. Yeah. And uh, because uh, they may see some video later. But, but uh, I remember a man in uh, um, uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he had actually been shot in the back, and uh, he was in pain, and the bullet dissolves, and he's totally healed. Whoa. In fact, I, I dealt with a lot of people who have been in serious uh, situations. Uh, African-American man, he had been shot in the knee. Uh, sometimes he could barely walk, barely move. The, the, uh, the metal dissolves, and he actually gets up and dances. And another brother uh, had been shot in the leg. He had had the bullet for 20 years. It dissolves, and he was totally healed. And oh, so, <laughs> okay, so now, you know, people might be watching and say, there's no way, that's crazy. But I actually was sitting in a crowd uh -huh. in the front row of a meeting at the tent event. Yes. Um, and you were ministering, and a guy was up on stage, yes. and he had been running. Uh, he's a jogger. Yes. And he had been running, and somebody shot him yes. while he was jogging, and the bullet was still lodged in his yes. leg. Yes. And it would rem every time his daughter would sit on his lap, Yes. I don't know if you remember this miracle, but he, he it would remind him that the bullet's still there. Oh, yeah. Because he could feel it, the pressure yes. hitting the bone. Yes. Okay, so you're up there ministering to him, and I can remember that guy's face. That guy, when, when you said the metal, that bullet is dissolving now, and he started poking around and pounding around, and he, the shock on uh -huh. his face mm -hmm. that that bullet was gone. Yeah. And then I had a bullet disappear. When mm -hmm. I was in prison, I was praying for an inmate that had got, uh, somebody tried to shoot him. Right. He had blocked the gun with his hand. Right. It went off and it lodged. It was a small caliber bullet and it lodged on the bone in his hand. And yes. he'd been there for like 10 years. Yes. So I sat there and just put my hand on him and prayed. And it got smaller and smaller and smaller till it totally dissolved. And then we ran, a, we had a policeman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we had one of the police that were there running a metal detector over his hand, mm -hmm. and it, it didn't go off. Yes, because see, here's the thing: people think, well, maybe, maybe it happened, and maybe it didn't. Well, right. I was in uh, Blytheville, Arkansas. A woman comes up. She had an arm that was four inches short than the other. She had metal from here to here. She was under physician's care. Her arm grows out four inches. Her goal was to pick up a pot. Uh, That's how weak the arm was. Oh. The metal disappears, it becomes bone. She goes to her physician. 
Her physician examines her. The metal has become bone. The physician comes to the church to come to see me. That's how powerful miracles are. They will actually draw people to the church and to Jesus. Okay, so look, I mean, again, people are watching going, no way, crazy. Mm -hmm. But I remember the very first time I ever met you, like over a decade ago, Mm -hmm. I was at another meeting. You were Mm -hmm. administering miracles. There was Mm -hmm. a woman there. She had a metal spring Mm -hmm. attached to her upper leg. It Mm -hmm. went down to her knee and then Mm -hmm. down to her lower leg. Mm -hmm. And it stabilized her legs and her knees. Mm -hmm. But because it was a metal spring, it was so stiff, she couldn't bend her knee. Yes. So you ministered to her and then you said, do something you couldn't do before. Mm -hmm. And then you walked away from her like, no big deal. And so she got down on her knees and began to crawl around on her knees. And she said, this is happening right in front of me. I'm watching it. And she's crying now. She's going, I couldn't do this. I couldn't do this before. I couldn't do this. And I was like, oh my gosh, who is this man? I have to get to know him Mm -hmm. and bless the Lord. I did. Let me share with you. um, Look, if you're online again, uh, tell us where you're uh, watching from. I'm seeing Sophie's from... Laycaster, UK. Hey, Sophie. All right. Catherine is watching in Florida. Bless you, uh, Catherine. We've got Lorraine from Connecticut. Jane from Los Angeles. Uh, Rachel, Rochelle, I think it is, from Atlanta, Georgia. And Lisa from San Diego. Wow. And Angie from South Africa. Wonderful, All right. wonderful. Amen, come on. Okay, so wow, this is super fun. But now let's get serious because mm-hmm. um, people will go, well, you don't see that kind of crazy stuff in the Bible, but mm-hmm. you do. Yes. And the Bible says we can have bone miracles, pain miracles, uh, spinal miracles, metal. So yes. tell us about that. Yeah, well, I mean, first of all, when, when people think about the book of Genesis, which is the book of beginnings, uh, in the book of uh, Genesis chapter 18, verse 14, this question's asked, is there anything too hard for the Lord? And the answer is no. And the <laughs> prophet right. Jeremiah said, you're the Lord God who created the heavens and the earth and nothing is impossible for no, you. Nothing. 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 Meaning anything, even metal coming out of a, a body, a spine straightening, a bone growing out, anything. Anything. Okay. Because... The Lord is God Almighty. Wow, wow, yes. And he could do anything. And here's the thing. The scripture says in Luke 1, with God, nothing shall be called impossible. Right. I mean, and do we really believe that is the yes. question, right? Yes. Are we really going to believe it? And are we really going to step out and take a risk to get it? Yes. And Jesus said in Mark 10, 27, with God, all things are possible. Right. Amen. And so, and then this, this show is entitled Faith with Katie. And Jesus said in Mark 9, 23, if you can believe, if, if you, you have can, faith, right. all things are possible to the one that believes. Come on, amen. And what we're trying to do here is we tell testimonies and show videos and teach from the word of God that we're trying to build your faith that right now, if you're having a knee problem or an elbow problem or a pain in the spine or the back or something happened to your neck, maybe you're in an accident or something like that and you've never been the same again that you can get miracles even while you're watching from your own home because yes. there is no time and distance that's right, right. that's right that's right. right i mean i you minister two ways you you touch people and pray for them yes but you also call out miracles yes i do more where i'm you know calling out miracles and yes. i hardly ever touch someone yes and that should encourage people watching at home right now that I don't need to be there, and Tony doesn't need to be That's there right. to lay hands on you. That's right. We can call out a word of knowledge. We can command uh, miracles to happen, and you know, bones to straighten and grow, and they will. Absolutely, because the scripture says God is everywhere, and the book of the prophet Zechariah four and six says it's not by your effort, it's not by your energy, not by your power and might, but it's by my spirit. And so the spirit of God is wherever the need is and wherever mm. the people are. And God through the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus can deliver to them their miracle. Amen. Okay, so now what I want to talk about for our audience is mm-hmm. we as we administrate miracles when we're out, yes. there are things that we go after that are in people's lives that we know have to be dealt with yes. before people can get a miracle. Yes. So we're gonna talk about some of them. Yes. And the first thing is, is people need to be healed of trauma before like their knees can get healed and their back can straighten yes. out. Let's yes. talk about that. Well, yeah, um, I, I, you know, Jesus said, uh, the word of God says in Matthew 4, 22, 23, 24, 
It says that Jesus healed every kind of sickness and every kind of disease. And it says Jesus healed their torments. Whoa. The Greek word is basanos, which actually could be translated pains or trauma. Whoa. And so sometimes the person needs to be healed of their spiritual trauma, Whoa. mental trauma, emotional trauma. Maybe there was an injury. Maybe there was a loss of right. grief. Yeah. It could be anything. An a loss accident. of an accident. They could have lost their job, lost their house. Divorce. Divorce. There's so many traumas, and those traumas can wound us. Absolutely. Not our, not just a physical wounding, like getting into an accident, can mentally, emotionally wound us. Yes. And the Bible says that we'll prosper and be in health even as our soul prospers. So many times, I don't see somebody receive a physical miracle or even a miracle in their finances until they first get healed of the trauma that's in their soul. Well, the book of Isaiah, chapter uh, 53, beginning with verse three through five, it says, Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. Whoa. So Jesus takes the wound and in exchange brings health and healing to us. Come but on. we have to surrender that wound to Jesus. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Right, so I'm gonna prophesy right now that the Holy Spirit is at work even right now yes. for everyone watching. Everyone watching that the Holy Spirit's going to start reminding you of a trauma you went through. Yes. Maybe it was a loss of a job or yes. a divorce that happened years ago yes. or, or an elongated sickness with your parents or one of your folks or a child ended up dying of a sickness or a disease and you're still grieving, you're still yes. traumatized. But the Holy Spirit is going to be just going through your life right now and bringing to your remembrance those traumatic incidences so that when we move into activation, you can be healed Amen. and then receive a miracle. Amen. You know, uh, by the way, and everyone share these videos, share, share, share. People need a miracle. They need to get healed. People are in pain. They need to be healed in their bodies and in of the traumas also. Absolutely. 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 Okay. So look, um, Bitterness and offense is another thing that we always it's, go after. It's huge. It's a blocker. It blocks people from getting a miracle. Let's talk about that. I was in New York. Um, there was a woman in a wheelchair. I prayed for her and nothing happened. The pastor prayed for her and nothing happened. And uh, I was ministering to someone else who had um, been abused. She had been abused but had repressed their memory the wow. Holy Spirit brought it back to her. She forgave the abuser. Now, she had been in a wheelchair because she had had surgery. They left the metal in her body, and she, her body swelled up, and she oh couldn't my walk. Gosh. As soon as she forgives, she jumps up out of the wheelchair and kicks her leg like a cowgirl. <laughs> totally healed. Oh, my god! This is the power of forgiveness. Come on. Amen. I know. Talk about in Hebrews where it talks about... The root of bitterness. Oh, yeah. Hebrews 12, 15 talks about we can miss the grace that God wants to give because a root of bitterness down deep. And sometimes people go on, but they haven't moved on. Right. In other words, they they still carry the trauma with them. Yeah. Okay. And sometimes they bury it and they don't want to think about it. Okay, but the Holy Spirit wants to bring it to the surface so that they could deal with it because this root of bitterness springs up. And it troubles them, and by it, many are unclean, and then they cannot receive from the giving hand of God. Yeah, the beginning of that scripture says that. We don't want you to miss the grace That's right. of God by letting a bitter root exactly. form inside of you. So God has this grace to heal people. He yes. wants to do it every single time. Yes. But sometimes our bitterness or our offense yes. gets in the way. You know, there's a story in Mark 5, uh, excuse me, John 5, about the man at the pool, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so here he is. He's at the pool. He's been there for 38 years laying on a yes, mat, yes. right? And Jesus comes and heals him. Rise, pick up your mat and walk. Yes. But before he does that, he asks the man, he, is, he says, do you want to get well? Do you want to get well? And the man doesn't say, oh, yes. I mean, after 38 years, I'd be like, yes, I want to get well. Heal me right now. Yes. He doesn't say that. He goes, I got no one to put me in the pool. That's right. I got no one to put me in the pool. And when, when I try to get in, when the water stirs, somebody here cuts in front of me. That's exactly right. He sounds so offended, right? Yes, and bitter. And, and bitter. Yes. Like he doesn't have nobody to put him in the pool. His family hasn't been there for That's him. That's right. They just kind of drop him off every day with his right. mat. Maybe right. something, a little bit of a snack, if anything. Or, right. Or, and then when the water stirred, all the other, because it said there was a multitude of sick people there. That's right. That all the other sick people, even though they know he's been there the longest, they right. cut in front of him. That's right. No, you know, they cut in front 
what I mean? When the water stirred, he sounds so offended. And Jesus even points it out because later on, after Jesus heals him, he runs into him in the temple and he says to the man, he says, I see you're well now. Stop sinning. That's right. Or something worse may happen to you. That's right. So look, right now, I believe Holy Spirit's right now, not only bringing up to you trauma that you've been through, that you're still suffering from, that still has you wounded, but also places where you have not let go of bitterness yes. and offense, where you've not totally forgiven someone. Amen. Because he doesn't want you to miss the grace he has for you today. You can even start repenting now. Right. Amen. Right. Well, and what's interesting about that is Jesus said, rise up and walk. And what people look at is the physical healing of the paralysis. Yeah. But Jesus was saying, rise up and walk out of your bitterness. Rise Whoa. up and walk out of your offense, out of your Gee, anger. Good rise up and Man. walk out of your hurt, out of your pain. Mm. Rise all that rejection mm. because they weren't there. Mm. All the people that uh, took got ahead of you, rise up and walk out of that. See, I had a dream and in this dream, I saw paralysis, mm. but I saw paralysis started in the heart and in the mind wow. and the emotions and in the body. Wow. And so when Jesus healed this paralysis, he healed his spirit, he healed his soul and his body. Wow, check that out. Yeah. I ran into a woman at church one time. She was sitting in a wheelchair at the front door facing the wall. Yeah. And I went up and I said, huh? what's going on, are you all right? And yeah. she told me the story about falling out of her car and hurting yeah. her foot. Yeah. And then she, she said it was so much, it was so painful. I couldn't walk. So I went to the doctor, but they x-rayed, nothing was broken. There was no sprain. And, but there she was unable to walk. She was on crutches. Then she, re, she got worse. Yes. The pain spread to the other foot, even though she didn't injure it when she fell right. out of the car. Right. Then she ended up in a wheelchair for three years. So I'm looking at her telling me the story and I'm like, I'm hearing the Holy Spirit go, she's bitter. She has a bitter root. Yes. So I said, I'm hearing the Lord say you're bitter. Yes. Let's let's pray about it. So she repented. We prayed. She stands up. She walks. Yes. So, she, you know, her husband's excited. He's crying. He's so happy. She's walking up and down the church. And I said to her, how does it feel to walk again? She goes, it still hurts. She still had a little right. bit of bitterness there. That's right. She had repented. Right. But it wasn't like full force, like yes. really realizing I got to pull out this root. Right. So I said, don't get back in that chair. I'll pray for you again later. The next night I call her up. I said, where's that lady in the chair? She walks up. I said, you're walking. Look at you. Awesome. She goes, it still hurts. Mm -hmm. So I look at her and the Lord says, it's still there. That root is still there. Get rid of it. So I leaned over and I said, I think you're still bitter. That root is still there. And she starts crying. Yes. That's when the Lord really touched her. Yes. She repents and all the pain goes away. She's walking now, full motion. But it was all because of bitterness. Yeah, because see... Here's what people need to get a hold of. And when you're in it, it's hard to get a hold of it sometimes. But I can't afford to be bitter. Yeah, uh, I come can, on. I cannot afford That's to stay right. offended. Just look at the word, off-ended. You're getting oh, oh. off. So if I want to get on, I got to get rid of my offense. Come on. Amen. So get ready because when we do go into activation in about 10, 15 minutes here, I want you to be reminded by the Holy Spirit where you're holding on to an offense. Who haven't you forgiven? Yes. Who hurt you? Who talked about you? You know, was it, a, it was an, an ex, a, a spouse that you're now divorced from? Is it your children that they're not being honoring to you? Is it a boss that you've worked under that was difficult? Whatever it is, we need to get rid of that off-ended, that offense right. that is blocking you from receiving the grace of the Lord to get healed today. Okay, so now we also talk about um, you lead people to forgive themselves. Oh, that's a huge deal. And their own bodies. And their own bodies. It's a huge, huge, Okay, talk huge about deal. that. Oh, my. Listen, um, <laughs> I, I, I'll, share, I'll share this testimony because it's so powerful. I was uh, doing a meeting in Joshua, uh, Texas. A woman was there. She had one shoulder blade in. She had one shoulder blade out. She had been in pain for seven years. And uh, the Holy Spirit speaks to me and says she has bitterness, resentment, unforgiveness against her own body. Well, somebody might say, well, that's strange. And I thought it was too. But then Jesus said in Luke 6, 37, he said, forgive and you shall be forgiven. But he didn't say who or what. Wow. And so she was mad at her own body. I asked her the question. She said, yes, I am. Wow. I said, forgive your own body because she had actually turned against herself. See, her the, own unforgiveness 
against herself was against. causing her body to be ill. And as soon as she forgave her own body, she let out a yell and her shoulder blades went into place oh and she was totally gosh. healed by Jesus. That's when I learned that people who are very, very active, people who, um, for whatever reason, whether it be menopause or an accident or an injury or, or a sickness or a disease, when they could not do what they used to do, they would get mad at their own body. And so what happens now is that they will forgive their own body. It opens up heaven mm. and it causes healing to land in their body. Now look, people are already online yes. starting to engage yes. with the teaching, right? I mean, Lorraine said, Lord, please heal me from bitterness so I can be healed. Yes. Lisa's saying, I repent and I forgive everyone that's yes. hurt me. I'm so proud of you girls. This is exactly what we need to be doing right now as we're watching, right? It's like, oh, this is so fun. Sharon says, I repent of every word. Yes. Action and behavior I've done to harm or hinder someone else. Yes. This is so good, right? Everyone is totally wanting to align themselves yes. with the truth of God right here and, and by activating into these these precepts. You know, you talked about the shoulder blades moving and people go, yeah. whatever. I have seen so many bones move into place Honestly, uh, I went on a streak there. It started when you and I were in Kansas. Mm -hmm. You and I were in Kansas, and we were teaching on spines yes. getting healed. Yes. And you were kind of like mentoring me, Katie, yes. let's do this. And I said, then I'm going to do that. And you're like, yeah, that's good. And then kind of mentor me. We went through it. And like I said, okay, if there's any chiropractors and nurses in here, come up right now. So they did. Yeah. And I said, now if there's anybody with a twist or a bend or a bulge or anything in their spine, come up. And people lined up. A lot of people. A lot of people. And they checked, and all the nurses checked the spines before we prayed. Yes. Before we prayed. Yes. And then uh, we they went back to their seat, and with nobody touching them. Yes. Just by walking them through the precepts we're talking about right now. Right. Then people's spines moved into place. Mm -hmm. And people came back up, and the nurses that checked them went and checked their backs. And The then same they, nurse the who same, checked them before yep. checked them the second time. Yes. And people's spines... We're totally moving. I, the nurses were getting <laughs> slain in the ghost, the Holy Spirit, because they were like, oh my gosh, to touch these people's backs yeah. before and after. Yeah. One lady, that lady named Heather, she they had brought a wheelchair for her because mm -hmm. she was like, I, I always try to walk, but when I can't do it anymore, I get in the chair. Mm -hmm. She had, would take like, I forget, like five massively strong pain pills a day. Mm -hmm. She had a dip and a twist in mm -hmm. her spine from an accident. Mm -hmm. Her mom had had to come over every morning for like 10 years, mm -hmm. get her and the kids ready. Mm -hmm. Her spine totally moved into place. Totally. Yeah, you see a lot of spine miracles. Oh, listen, I was in New York again, cause I've done lots of meetings in New York. A woman comes, she had had an injury 20 years. Uh, she had a metal in her spine 20 inches long. Oh my gosh. In pain, 20 years, the metal disappears. It becomes vertebrae. Her pain disappears. Oh. When her husband feels her spine, he feels no metal. He feels the vertebrae. Whoa. And speaking of shoulder blades. So, okay, so he's touched her back many times. Uh, oh, yeah. So he would know he's the, the difference between mm. a metal rod exactly. and a bone. Exactly. Oh my gosh, exactly. right. And then when we're talking about creative miracles, I seen Jesus grow three people who did not have shoulder blades. Yeah. He grew their shoulder blades in the service. I am not talking about a progressive where it takes one day or two days. I'm talking about in the service, their shoulder blade grows out. Whoa. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. we're going to show a video <laughs> shortly here yeah. of a miracle that yeah. you had at a meeting. Yeah. Wait till you guys <laughs> see this. It's crazy. Okay. This woman had... Got into a car accident. She got in a car accident. And she lost four inches of, of length on her arm. On her arm. That's and right. it shows it shows in the video, you're gonna see it in about a, you know, ten minutes here or so. It shows her hand like this, four inches, and it just goes, Ooh, and she's screaming. She she's screaming. God created the bone matter like skin, muscle tissue. Wow. And and, and what they won't see is that previously she had, had a neck break brace and Jesus healed her neck. But, you know, we only got so much time to show. <laughs> yeah, I know. We could actually, between the two of us, we literally could play videos all day. Oh, yes. And, you know, if you're wondering, oh, I've heard you say that testimony, and I, I don't believe you, go and put in Katie Souza Metal on yeah. YouTube. You're going to see, you know, all kinds of amazing stuff. Every single video I talk about 
is available for you to watch on YouTube. I mean, speaking of the husband knowing the difference, I had a woman in Minnesota named Nicole, and she had two six-inch long metal rods in mm -hmm. her foot from a bunionectomy and a metal pin. Mm -hmm. And she said it caused her pain all the time, and her husband, right. Daniel, had bought her right. those foot things to help her. And she says that all of a sudden in the meeting, she felt like hot lava just burning her foot, right? And she was like, oh my gosh. And all of a sudden, all the pain left. Yeah. So she comes up and she's like, wow, there used to be a pin here. And I'm touching it. Normally it would poke my foot and I can't feel it. Uh -huh. And then her husband comes up and I said, I want you to feel if you can feel that pin. Mm -hmm. I go, have you touched your feet? He goes, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> right? I massage her feet all the time. Right. And and, and so he, he goes, wow, wow. I don't feel the pin. I go, what about the rods? Right. So he feels on her foot and he goes, oh, it feels much different. It's softer. It's not the hard metal. So we ran a metal detector over her. Didn't go off. It's the kind that the police use that goes through yes. skin. Yes. So, I mean, these are real. Well, see, here's the thing. Yeah. Um, you've been in prison so many times where people had the metal when right. they would go through the detector, it would go off. Yeah. And then you would have the officer who are skeptical. Yeah. Who are super skeptical because right. it pays for them to be skeptical in prison. <laughs> okay? Okay? Yeah. And, and then Jesus heals them, and they're running it, and it's not going off, and they're running it again, and it's not going off until they even believe. Okay, so the, you know what? Since we're talking about it, let's show... <laughs> this is super fun. Let's show. This is one of my favorite miracles. I got a bunch of them, though. I got a whole list, but this is super cool. We're going to play Larry and Larry. This happened in a Kansas prison, and you're going to see that metal disappeared from two inmates' bodies, and a sergeant was there with a metal detector to prove it. So are we ready for that, guys? Yeah, we're ready to go? Okay, well, let's watch it right now. Wait a you had an injury to your spine, correct, or in your neck? Yes, I First, I had a car accident where a deer tried to come through my windshield and messed up two vertebrae in my neck. And then about three years later, I fell off a porch about six feet up in the air straight onto my head. Messed up number three and four vertebrae in my neck, split them clear in two. And that's basically it. Now, you have metal in your neck. Is that right? Or you had metal in your neck? Okay. What did they do? Did they like like try to foundation the the spine with the metal? What is it? Well, it was welded. I have a cadaver part in there, and screws and bolts and all kinds of stuff. And I've just had constant tightness in my neck and shoulders ever since until last night. Can you check again for us right now? And I still don't feel it. So, in other words, IE is gone. 21 years ago, you had a severe accident. Tell us what happened. Well, I was working in the oil field uh, offshore in New Orleans in the Gulf of Mexico and on a drilling rig. And when you pick up drill pipe to make a connection, you pick it up with a chain to bring it into the mouse hole. And the chain broke and it fell on me and broke my neck and broke my back. How big is that pipe? It's about 32 feet long and weighs probably two, 3,000 pounds. I've had three major back surgeries since then. They had to take a bone out of my hip, go through the front of my neck, and fuse C4, 5, 6, and 7. And then my low back, I have a 15-inch scar where they did a laminectomy and put in three 10-inch rods, two plates, and several screws that tighten the plates. I had asked you last night, Larry, if you had ever been able to actually touch and feel the plates and the rods with your hand, and you said no. No. So I, we couldn't actually check to see if they were gone like we did with the other Larry. And, you know, he could feel them and then he didn't. They were gone. The nurse can give me a quick x-ray. We were hoping one of the, the police could bring down one of the metal things. Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, where are you? Where are you, Larry? Okay. Uh, I think it's right here, isn't it? Okay. Explain what one of these is. It detects metal, uh, and it'll go through the skin also, so it was legit. Now, I saw you. You actually went and got that. We're so grateful. Aren't we so grateful? Can we give Sergeant a hand? Aren't we so grateful? Okay.
What would that mean to you that, with, that you weren't detecting any metal on men that once had metal in their bodies? It's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. You need to share this feed. You need to share it, share it, share this feed right now because we're about to move into a healing activation. Look, in that story, it was so cool. Um, that sergeant, right, uh, the guy with the neck is still in, right? Um, and so whenever the sergeant sees him, the sergeant stops him and wands him again to make sure mm -hmm. that the metal didn't come back right. or something, right? right? And then what on that day when it happened, mm -hmm. uh, that was in the morning session. So the guys all left and went to Chow to eat lunch. Right, right. Well, in that prison, there is a metal detector that you mm -hmm. have to go through to mm -hmm. get into Chow. Mm -hmm. Now, all the officers know which guys have metal. Right. So that they, they wear a special identification for right, it. Right. So on that day, those two guys went through, and guess what? <laughs> didn't go off. It didn't go off, and it never went off again. That's right. So it was proved by the sergeant and by the metal detector. Amen. So this is real, right? That's real. This is so real. So I want to encourage everybody watching, right? Like every miracle you heard us talk about, we have it on film and you can go see it. In fact, we probably could have a show one day where we just watched testimonies, you know, for the entire hour. But we never exaggerate anything because it doesn't bring glory to God. So when you're, what you're hearing is real life miracles. And if they happen in one case, they can happen in yours too. God is no respect or persons. That same grace is available for That's us right. all. That's right. Okay, share, share, share the video. We're gonna touch two more points and then let's move into healing because we're okay. running out of time. Yeah. Really quickly, shame and rejection also yes. block people from receiving their miracle. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Tell us about it. Okay. Well, uh, in Matthew eight, Jesus comes and he he meets a um, he meets a leper. Yeah. Who's full of rejection, full of depression, full of hurt, pain. He's dying. Yeah. And you could tell he's afraid of rejection because he says, Lord, I don't know if you want to, but if you oh. want to, you can heal me. And in the original language, Jesus doesn't just say, I want to be cleansed. He says, I want to with all of my heart. Oh, man. And in the Greek, he says, be Thank cleansed God. at once. Yes. And so this was a cleansing from rejection, self-rejection, depression, hurt, everything. Wow. Okay, so, and then, of course, he was totally healed. He's made whole. Yes. Right. Okay, so look, we're going to start activating right yes. now. Yes. All right, so we want to first do what we've been talking about. Get stuff out of the way. Yes. That's blocking you from having a miracle. Yes. And then believe that pain's going to leave in your back, your neck, your knees, your spine, your body, and, and your bones are going to line and even metal will disappear right where you're at in your home watching. Share this video right now. So let's start leading them through step by step. Amen. Yeah, why don't you why don't you why don't you lead and I'll follow you. Oh, okay, I'll I'll be I'll start it. Okay, okay you start. All it. right. So let's let's just go to the Lord right now and if you have any bitterness in you towards anyone, any unforgiveness towards anyone, any uh, you've been critical or gossiping about someone or judging someone unfairly, I want you right now to go before the Lord right where you're at and start repenting. Just just Pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I repent. I repent. For any sinful actions. For any sinful actions. That would be in the way. That would be in the way. Of me receiving your grace right of now. Of me receiving your grace right now. So I lay bitterness. I lay bitterness. Judgment. Judgment. Criticism. Criticism. Anger. Anger. Repent and, and repent for them now. I repent for them now. I lay them at the foot of your cross. I lay them at the foot of your cross. I ask you to cleanse me of those sins. I ask you to cleanse me of those sins. If I've gossiped. If I've gossiped. I talked about someone. Talked about cleanse someone, me. Cleanse me right now. Right now. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. I forgive. I forgive everyone. Everyone who's ever hurt me. Who's ever hurt me. And I repent. And I repent for holding unforgiveness against them. For holding unforgiveness against them. In Jesus name right now. In Jesus name right now. Now just stay right there, Father. I decree they've repented with their mouth. You're washing them clean of that record, of that offense, of that sin that's getting in the way of their miracle in Jesus name right now in Jesus name right now in Jesus name right now now lead them through of the yeah so so yeah. listen so say this prayer say Jesus Jesus 
I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I forgive my body. I forgive my body. I forgive people who hurt someone I cared mm, about. I forgive people that hurt someone I cared about. And Lord, I've been mad at you. And Lord, I've been mad at you. And I repent of that. And I repent of that. Forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. I put it all down. I put it all down. I lay it at your feet. I lay it at your feet. I let it go. I let it go. And I receive your love. And I receive your love. I am not rejected. I'm not rejected. I'm accepted I'm by you. Accepted by you. And you take my shame away. You take my shame away. Because I have worth in your eyes. I have worth in your eyes. Because Jesus, you died for me. Because Jesus, you died for and me. And you came back to life. And you came back to and life. And you are the resurrection. And you are the resurrection. And you're my healer and my miracle worker right now. And you're my healer and my miracle worker right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, we're going to command trauma to come off of you. We release the Holy Spirit right now. Yes, Father. To minister to all the pain that yes. you've been through yes. of traumatic events. Yes. The pain you suffered from a divorce or from a financial battle, or from the loss of children, family members, households, jobs, possessions. Right now, trauma of elongated sickness, trauma of your of losing your loved ones right now, trauma of just the pressure and the stress of everyday life. Holy Spirit, we ask you to minister healing yes, to their souls right now. Yes. And we break trauma. I break trauma off of you. I command that you would still remember that event, but you would not feel the pain of it. Yes. And you'd feel different about that event. You'd yes. feel it lift, that pain, that weight that's been on you from that traumatic circumstance. Yes. Is broken yes. right now in the name of Jesus now. Yes. Now in the name of Jesus now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In fact, people are being healed right now. Yes. Amen. You Come know, on, uh, amen. listen, listen. Um, mm. There's somebody, you've had actual uh, pain in your neck mm. and there's metal in the neck. Mm. And Jesus is healing you. That pain is dissolving. It's dying. It's going away. You're getting mm. a miracle. You've had uh, problems Jesus. with your mobility. Jesus. I'm telling you, you're going to be able to move. It's going to get freer and freer mm. and freer, moving up and down. Also, there's there's mm. metal right here, uh, and, and that is dissolving and disappearing. Mm. You're being healed by Jesus right now. Right now. And I see knees, that you, you your knees, they, they crackle, and, and they have pain in them. They're rubbing against each other like you don't have any cartilage left. Maybe you've already been diagnosed. I decree right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, that you're being healed of all pain and the root of the pain in the knees and every part of your body right now in Jesus name. And I speak a creative miracle into your body right now where the, where all of the cartilage will grow back. The ligaments will be strengthened and grow back right now. Bone matter. I command bone matter to be restored where it has been degenerated and where it's been eating away right now. All the decimated limbs right now coming back to life in Jesus name I release life giving power into the knees and into the neck right now as pastor said more neck healings right now right now in the name of Jesus yes. and I command metal in every part of your body to dissolve yes now yes now in the name of Jesus yes I command bone to be recreated in that area right now now, in Jesus' name, right now, in Jesus' name. <laughs> and so that metal in your ankle is disappearing. Whoa. And that pain is going away. I and the it. metal in the foot, it's dissolving Whoa. and disappearing. Bone is taking its place right now. Whoa. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, oh and somebody has some uh, a metal hip. It's being healed Come right on, now in amen. the name of Jesus. And then there is metal below the knee moving toward the ankle. Jesus, it's dissolving right and you're being healed right by now. Jesus right and, now. And I speak to the bulges in your spine. Yes. The bulges and the spinal curves the spinal atrophy, yes. the spinal stenosis in yes. your spine. And I decree right now that you are under the grace of God. I decree every accusation that's been brought against you by the enemy so he could put a spirit on you is under the blood and under the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I decree right now that you are loosed, 
loose from the accusation in the name of Jesus, loosed from that accusation in the name of Jesus, loosed from that accusation in the name of Jesus, loosed from that accusation. And I command that spirit of infirmity that's bending your spine, you come out. Right. You come out right now. Right. Come out, you spirit, now in Jesus' name right now right now and i command those bones to move right now yes people have to start moving right now yes yes you're being healed yeah. of scoliosis come on. you're being healed of come the on. curvature of the spine even a shift with regards to your shoulder blades they're evening out and and uh what i'm seeing right now is is one person has one shoulder up and the other one's down you start to move, it's going to start moving into place. Jesus mm, is mm, giving mm, you mm. a most wonderful miracle right now. Okay, now look, I, I need you to start, we need you to start moving. You, a, li, a lot of times, yes. these miracles do not happen. Yes. So people start, you know, bending their knees, yes. going up and down stairs, yes. uh, moving their neck around, doing, yes. you know, touching their toes, doing yes. the twists. Yes. You need to test. And then I want you to get online and tell me, yes. how's your pain level right now? Yes. Do you feel less pain? Do you have more mobility? Maybe you could feel the metal. Maybe there's metal sc metal screws dissolving right now. Yes. Metal screws yes. dissolving right now. Metal screws dissolving right now. That's so easy for God to do. I've seen it dozens, 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 yes. dozens of times, yes. hundreds of times yes. right now. If you could feel it before, can you, it, are you touching it now? Is it getting smaller? Is it gone? I want you to chat into me right now. What else are you getting? And, and there's there's metal there's metal in the face that's also dissolving in Whoa. the mighty name of Jesus. And Thank you, I Jesus. know we have not mentioned this, but there is arthritis in the spine that's being healed right now Come on. in the name of Jesus. Right now. I just and, saw a picture of someone's yeah. knuckles too. Yes, Call yes, that out. Yeah, would you? yeah, yeah. There's arthritis in the hand that's also being healed. And arthritis in the knees that's also being healed. I'm telling you, pain is leaving various pain. parts of the body. Yes. Yeah. Pain. I speak to you again, spirit of pain. Yes. And I command anyone that's suffering pain right now that that spirit of pain would come out out and that pain would go and the root of the pain that's causing that pain to be in your body would go now now in the name of Jesus okay my feet just got super cold somebody's being delivered oh, you're yes. being delivered right now I think your feet are being healed right yes. now you are being delivered of a demonic spirit right now yes. and you're being healed in your body we release that healing deliverance power and we release creative miracles into the body right now in Jesus yes. name amen amen right now right now amen okay so I'm Come on, chat in online. Amen. It says, I'm receiving the word right now. Creative miracles. Amen. Hallelujah. Right now, in Jesus' name. Tell me if your pain has gotten less. What else do you got, Pastor? Do you Amen. There's neuropathy being healed right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, there's a heel spur, oh my goodness, that's being healed right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. There is, actually, there's metal in a foot that's being healed by Jesus right now. Oh. And and, and uh, there's something happening with somebody's toe. Uh, your toe is being healed right now. And there's some, <gasps> some, th some kind of um, rigidity in a finger or something, and that's being healed. You start to move in it, you're gonna be able to bend. God is doing something right now. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to a 30 second long video and you're gonna see somebody had, a woman had her arm grow out four inches she had been in a car accident and lost four inches of bone uh flesh yes matter in her arm and it grows out right in front of your eyes okay watch this we're going to be right back keep on chatting in about the status of your pain and where your body's at let's look at that vid right now i mean see the difference yeah. are you standing straight yeah, I am. you ready don't let it scare you I command this arm grow now. Wow. Wow. <laughs> When I saw that video, I was like, oh my gosh. I mean, you can't get around that. Right. Okay, so look, that's what's happening to you right now. Bone matter is being created. You saw how fast. I mean, that would have taken flesh. Bone, bone. skin, muscle tissue, 
cells. I mean, Jesus did that creative miracle instantly. Okay, and it's happening to many of you right now. Bone matter is growing back. Cartilage where you need it is growing back. You're being repaired. Discs are being repaired right now. Pain is leaving. Okay, so um, Izan, Izan says, yes, pain is gone in my foot. Amen. Amen. Remember, we, I felt yes. the coldness in the feet, too, yes. and you were decreeing over the feet. Yes. Um, Tamara says, I just felt a surge go through my whole body. Okay, amen. Um, let's see, what else is Text in how you guys are doing. It says, one, Dean, one moment, and the king changes everything, Amen. right? Um, Isabel says, Jesus, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Um, wow. Keep on chatting in, you guys. Says Christine says, I'm receiving it in my leg right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. She says, Ebony says, my name is Ebony, and I can feel my body being healed in my hips. Amen. And I feel something in my neck. Amen. like fire. Amen. We bless what you're doing yes, in ebony, Lord, Lord right now. Yes, Lord. We ask for more right now, and that fire would spread in the name of Jesus, would spread even further right now in Jesus' name. Um, and then, let's see, lungs and stomach. Margaret says, lungs and stomach need healing. Okay, we pray for your lungs and stomach yes, yes. to be healed right now, Margaret, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus right now, Right now, in Jesus' name, that everything would be cleared, that the airway would open, that there would be no inflammation or pain in your stomach right now in, in the name of Jesus. There's even more prayer requests also, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Let's say, oh, and Carolyn says, I'm receiving healing in my knuckles. Wonderful. Yeah, in remember we saw yes. the visual of yes. the knuckles being yes. healed. So can you decree that for other people who have yes. knuckles right now? Yes. We decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus that your hand is being healed. Carpal tunnel, by the way, is being healed right now. Arthritis in the hand is being healed right now. Pain in the hands and, 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 and in the fingers and, and, and actually numbness too is being healed right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for healing those joints. Thank you, Lord, for healing those bones in the hands in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen. Okay, uh, you know what? Um, there is people saying they're putting up their list of stuff that's happened. They're praising God right now. Um, something, uh, Anita says she feels something moving in her back right now. Yeah, there's a bunch of backs being healed yeah, right now. Yeah, continue. Pray again and, on and, release more healing for the backs. Yeah, I, I thank you. Listen, um, your, your lower back on the left side is being healed. Somebody else is on the right side. Somebody else is in the middle of the back. Somebody else is right between the shoulder blades. Uh, somebody else, you had a hump, and now it's starting to level out and become straight. You're being healed by Jesus right now. Right Thank you, now. Holy Father. Thank, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, Nancy says she needs um, the shoulder, neck, um, regrowth of broken teeth and shoulder and neck healing. So Father, more, yes. Holy Spirit, yes. now touch right now yes, the Lord. teeth, the neck, right now and, and every part in the jaw, Lord, in the name of Jesus, go after the pain, Holy Spirit, and cause creative miracles of regrowth in the name of Jesus right now. Now, Tamara says, no pain in my whole spine. Super. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me and yeah. glory to God. Yes. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, um, there's a narrowing of the spine that's being healed right now in the name of Jesus. That thing is opening up for you. Thank you, Jesus. Now, uh, Christine says, please command generational curses to be broken off of us. Can yes. you do that, Pastor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, by the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit, because of the sufferings of Jesus and his resurrection, we release resurrection power. We speak to every generational curse. It be broken right now because of the kindness and the goodness of God. We release that spiritual healing, that mental healing. Devil, your power is destroyed. Loose them and go from them. And we decree that miracle of healing spirit soul and body now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Uh, okay, so look, let's do one more blast. Yes. Because we've got six minutes left. Yes, yes. Let's do another blast. So, yes. Lord, if you haven't received your miracle yet, put out your hands. Yes. Okay, and say, Lord, even Jesus had to pray twice, so we're going to mm -hmm. go for it again. Oh, man. Just yes. say, Lord, I receive your presence right yes. now. Yes. I receive your goodness right now. I'm believing all my pain to go. 
I'm believing my body to align with divine healing like you created me. I reach out and I receive Holy Spirit's action, Holy Spirit's work, Holy Spirit's operation in my body. Come on, just pray that with me right now in Jesus' name. And I receive the blood of Jesus yes. on anything I still am holding on to that yes. would block my healing, yes. like offense or judgment or criticism or bitterness. Say, I repent for all of it, Lord. Get rid of it all. I don't want it anymore. Wash me clean of my sin yes. so I can receive my miracle. Yes. Come on, now, say that with me. Wash me clean of my sin. Yes, wash me clean of my sin. So I can receive my so miracle. I can receive my miracle. Cleanse me right now, Jesus. Cleanse me right now, Jesus. And heal me. And heal me. By your blood. By your blood. And by your Holy Spirit. By your Holy Spirit. Yeah, and I break trauma. Again, I break that deep layer of trauma off of you now. And I command the bone miracles to manifest, creative miracles to happen in the knees, in yes. the knuckles, in yes. the spine, yes. in the neck, yes. in the shoulders, in the elbows, right yes. now in Jesus' name. I command diseases and disorders to be healed and broken off of you in the name of Jesus now. Yes. Now. And if there's any legal right that is left that we don't know about, we put everyone watching under the blood and under grace. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Okay, so Carol said, Carol says, I have had severe pain in my lower back for almost three weeks. My whole pelvic was torqued. Pain is almost all gone. Super. Praise Thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Jamie's saying uh, she's receiving the blood on anything she's still holding on to. Yeah. She's repenting and asking God to wash her clean of, of her sins so she can receive her miracle. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And then uh, Nicole says, I believe my cousin Manny back is healed. Amen. Amen. We're believing too. Amen. And uh, don't forget to chat in. How's your, how is your, um, how is the status of your pain right now? Right now, how is it? Jaina says, no change in my ankle yet, but my high left shoulder yes. is down now. Wonderful. Praise the Lord. And my back feels relaxed. Now, you, pro yes. you commanded the shoulders yes. to even out. Yes. So uh, now go after her ankle one more time, yes, would yes. you, Pastor? Thank you, Holy Father, for giving her the previous miracle. Now give her this miracle. Lord, I thank you for that ankle being healed. I thank you, Jesus, for that bone being healed. Lord, for that muscle, for those nerves to be healed, for all pain to dissolve and disappear. And Lord, let her have total freedom. We decree that freedom in Jesus' name. And God, we give you the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, keep on chatting in, guys. Share this video because we want people to get healed. You know, we're, we're here's what we're doing. We're really... Oh, check this. Sorry. Melania says, I've had some issues with my stomach, pain and burning in my stomach. Going to get an x-ray tomorrow. I'm scared. We break fear 